Oxycontin is damn expensive. So the next best thing is the heroin. An addict for almost a decade, Danica has witnessed firsthand the slide from pills to heroin. She sees the city's unique social pressures as the root of the problem. I think that the prescription abuse rate among LDS women has a lot to do with this image of perfection you're supposed to be creating. And it's difficult. I mean, you don't want to make anybody upset. You don't want to talk about what makes you unhappy. The only thing you have is, is your doctor, and your doctor will tell you, oh, yeah, take this. You'll be able to handle everything better. But in reality, you're just not handling things. You're hiding them. And I think part of the reason that I started using heroin, I feel I've got all this pressure to succeed. You know, I just, I don't know how else to deal with the pressure. I don't know how to get through the day without just absolutely breaking down. But there's those expectations and somehow I've got to at least look like I'm meeting them. She looks together now. But three hours earlier, she was a dope sick heroin addict trawling the city's darkest corners in search of a fix. There's a very underground part of Salt Lake that people, I think, try to close their eyes to and pretend isn't there. And scoring dope is dangerous for a young woman on her own. You get really nervous. Oftentimes, there's fights. You get men that hit on you. Um, if it's late at night, it's scary because you don't know if you know, you're going to walk around a building and somebody's going to pull you into an alley. But I think the biggest fear is the law. 